This is a style of stockmanship that studies the nature of cows and horses and attempts to handle them in such a way that is consistent with their nature. What has come to be known as the road deer style of branding calves is the practice of going out to where the cattle are, making a small gather, holding the cattle up in a fence corner or a branding trap or a natural enclosure of some kind, leaving the cows in with the calves, roping the calves out of the herd or the roe deer, pulling them straight to the fire, healing them on the way to the fire, branding them, turning them loose to go immediately back with their mothers. We really like to head and heal all classes of cattle. I like the consistency of it for the cowboys and the horses. Later on, when you get to handling bigger cattle, your horse is well prepared for it. Branding calves is probably one of the funnest and most rewarding jobs on the ranch that we do. This is a style of stockmanship that makes nice horses and it makes good handling cattle. It's low stress if it's done correctly. Shorter increments of time is what it seems like it takes to get your horses and your cattle handling better. This road air style of branding, it breaks it down into smaller pieces. Branding traps are all shapes and sizes from some real immaculate setups to maybe a rim on one side and a chunk of snow fence on the other side. What works best is what your cattle hold up in. A Brandon trap needs to be small enough that it's going to hold the cattle up, but big enough to give everybody plenty of room to work. I like building Brandon traps out of panels in a fence corner. That seems to work real well. It's, it's real easy to adjust. A huge piece of this whole thing is the ability to adjust. If your Brandon trap's too wide, your roe deer's gonna split. Then the cattle are gonna wash back and forth all day. They aren't gonna be in one area of your branding trap and stay there and learn to hold up. You find if your branding trap gets narrower as you go to your fire, your calves will handle better. They won't get to rimming around you so bad. They'll, they'll stay back behind you a lot better. Give your healers a lot better shot and if you're heading them calves, they'll, they're a lot easier for you to handle. I like a dusty road, cattle guards, cottonwoods by the stream. I like a dusty road, hills in the distance that call me. When you start gathering your cattle and you start picking these cows up, try to get them mothered up right to start with and try to keep them that way. I like the gentle breeze, long shadows when the day is done. See the cattle go to water, walking in single file. There are shapes in the clouds. You can watch them for a while I worked on getting a big high overhand. I used a lot to catch calves off the edge.
I used a little more spoke in my loop for that shot for distance. And I swung it back around behind my horse. About as far behind me as my arm will allow. My target is slightly above the calf's head. I build that power in my swing and just let it go. rope on a horse, you are attaching him to another animal that's potentially large enough to pull him over if he doesn't manage his feet correctly. That's unsettling to a horse. Anytime that situation starts to set up, you would run rope so that your horse can still put his feet where he needs to put them to resolve it without feeling like he's going to get pulled off balance. That'll make a horse relax, knowing that even though he's attached to something, he's not going to get pulled off his feet. And we're going to kick all of the calves out, too. Some of them little guys laying around, we're going to jump them up, we're going to get them out of that trap, we're going to hold them up for just a few minutes outside. We might hold them up for 15 minutes. We might hold them up for an hour. It's real important that you go back the next day and check your trap to make sure that no calves got hung up in that and didn't find their mothers. I ride is old, but he has served me well. Coat like coal, tobacco rich and warm. He is old, but he is sound. And my rain chains ring like bells. We fit well together as we glide above the storm. And the boots I wear are old, but they have served me well. Leather like old tobacco, cracked and brown. The tops are scuffed and broken, and my spur chains ring like bells. My rowels gleam like the starlight, and up here we spurn the ground. The trails I ride are new Even though I've made the circle many times before For they change with every season And with every shift of light From the summit where the clouds fall To the sweep of valley floor 